Hi, this is John Farrell of the Farrell Law Firm and author of Estate Planning for the Modern Family. Estate Planning for the Modern Family is a step-by-step -step guide to protecting your estate for your loved ones. It answers important estate planning questions for you and your family and much more. Well, today I want to talk to you about estate planning in the digital age. I imagine this is going to be a two-part uh, session uh, because just going over the types of digital assets that you might have um, I think will be a little bit surprising for most people not realizing that they have so much in digital assets. So what are digital asset, assets? You know, typically, you know, they're classified in, you know, a lot of different ways. Uh, and the types of property and accounts that people have, you know, is consistently changing. Uh, but for the most part, there are things that uh, fall into several different categories when it comes to uh, digital assets. And so the first category I want to talk to you about are something that we might call, you know, personal digital assets. And these are things that you probably have stored on a computer or a smartphone, or maybe you've uploaded uh, photos to something like uh, Shutterfly or something like that. Um, you know, these can be treasured photographs or videos of your grandchildren, important emails. Um, maybe they're things like, uh, you know, photo albums on a hard drive or maybe created through some type of, you know, online system. That is uh, what we typically would refer to, you know, as personal digital assets. Uh, a second type of digital assets, you know, we're going to put into the category of financial accounts. And you probably know a lot of this information, you know, a lot of bank and investment accounts that really have no connection to, you know, your typical brick and mortar type of buildings. Um, but, you know, I can't even remember the last time I've walked into a bank. I do most of my banking, uh, you know, digitally. Uh, but these are also things like, you know, PayPal accounts, Bitcoin accounts, you know, maybe an eBay account, you know, something of that nature. Maybe you pay bills online, uh, like, you know, income taxes or mortgages or car loans, just any type of bill that you might have. Uh, so there's lots of different types of financial accounts that you might have. And, you know, we would call those, uh, you know, a digital assets, having access to those types of things. A third type of, you know, digital asset would be what you would consider social media. And, and you know what these are. These are things like, you know, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you know, LinkedIn. And these, these include things like your email accounts as well. Um, you know, not only are those sites used for things like, you know, social interaction, but, you know, they can serve as a storage place for, you know, photos and videos and, you know, other electronic files. So uh, social media, you know, is a third type of, um, you know, digital asset that you might have. Another one uh, category is something that we would call, you know, a business account. Uh, these are data that you may store on a computer like customer orders, um, home and shipping addresses, credit card data. You might have something like that, bank account numbers. You might have personal information about your friends or families like birth dates. Uh, maybe um, if you sell on eBay, you might have uh, you know an established online presence uh, through that. Um, so these types of accounts are what we would consider, you know, a, a business account. And that's a, certainly a, a digital asset that you might have. Another type of digital asset that you, you may have are things like domain names and blogs. Maybe you've written a blog or maybe you have a website that you use. Um, they even the name of the website may have some value to it. Uh, but, you know, maybe accessing it or even renewing the website, you might be only able to do through, you know, a password or email or something of that nature. Uh, but that is certainly, you know, a digital asset that, you know, you might want to consider. Another type of digital asset that you might have that you don't even realize that you have um, is something like a loyalty program. You know, these are things like airlines, Delta, Southwest, a lot of them have these uh, loyalty programs programs, you know, they might call them frequent flyer miles and might call them miles or points. And, you know, some credit card companies have things like cash back and uh, you might have discounted merchandise and travel or services. Uh, other restore, retail stores, they might have, allow you to accumulate benefits and use vouchers. 
Um, but these are often uh, miles that go unused when someone you know passes away. Um, but uh, there are, are certainly a lot of uh, digital assets in the, the loyalty program benefits section. Uh, another type of area is called, uh, you know, we, we just call these other digital assets. So these are things like um, maybe you are a gamer and you've got virtual property, you know, maybe something like World of Warcraft or Second Life or even uh, something that's super popular right now, Fortnite. You've got uh, people who are selling their um, programs for thousands and thousands of uh, dollars on the internet uh, because uh, they've been able to accumulate a certain um, reputation and skill level and and virtual assets really uh, in the games. And so, you know, those are what we would call, you know, other digital assets in the other digital uh, assets category. So knowing these things, what can you do to make sure that your digital assets get into the right hands once that day comes for you. Um, again, this is going to be a two-part session. I really wanted to use this uh, time to discuss the different types of digital assets. Often when I talk to people, they don't even realize the types of digital assets that they might have. And so this at least gives you an idea of some of the different types of digital assets that are out there. So stay tuned for part two of this. Um, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to call or email us. Uh, this is the type of work that we specialize in, and we would be glad to assist you with your estate planning needs. Thank you.